And that is the clutch has not been coming up off of the floor 100% while I'm driving. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Full Octane Garage. Today we're going to solve a problem we've been having with this 2019 Corvette Grand Sport with a manual transmission. And that is the clutch has not been coming up off of the floor 100% while I'm driving. There will be occasions where it's a stick, called a sticky clutch pedal. So I'll be driving, I'll shift a gear, the pedal will not come up even with the brake pedal. I can put my foot under it and pull it up and it does come up. And what I've been told from other forms and stuff that often it's the fluid in the clutch master cylinder that is getting aged and dirty and they recommend doing a flush and this is called a ranger flush this is not going through and rebleeding and, and uh, evacuating the complete system what we're going to do is we're going to take a syringe that we bought on amazon we're going to stick it into the master cylinder we're going to suck as much of it out as we can and then we are going to fill it back up with new DOT4 brake fluid and pump it 30 times. After we pumped it 30 times, that has allowed the new fluid to recirculate in with the old fluid. And we'll continue doing this. It can take four or five times to get the fluid where it comes back out looking clean. So this is going to be our first shot. The tools you're going to need, uh, we ordered this uh, very simple syringe on Amazon. Uh, you're going to need some DOT4 brake fluid. Uh, we got some painter's tape and a garbage bag because you do not want to get this brake fluid on any painted surfaces and preferably not on your plastic surfaces either because it is it is corrosive. And then obviously uh, some gloves to help keep you clean. A couple of uh, canisters to store your old brake fluid. What we're going to do is we're going to put the old brake fluid out of the syringe into the, this first canister. And then we're, when we're done observing it, we're going to pour it into the bulk storage. And each time that we'll test a new one to see how clean it comes back out. Okay, once you get the lid off, you can clean this plastic piece out. It does just pop off. And then what we'll do is we'll get some paper towels and we'll wipe it down really good. You know, it does expand so you can get in and clean all of the edges. And this is just the rubber seal for the cap, so you do want to make sure it's nice and clean. And we're done cleaning this. What we'll do is uh, you push the, the plastic elements back in, get it uh, taken back to the proper size clean the cap out a little bit, and then put this all back in. Because what this is going to do, once we put the new fluid back in here, we're going to have to put the cap on before we pump the pedal. So you do not want to have this fluid flying around with the cap off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the syringe in here, and we're going to suck as much of this fluid out. And there's not a lot in here. And then as it comes out, We're going to put it back in this cup. And it doesn't look horrible. Again, you want to make sure it doesn't drip anywhere. You want to get this away from your car, keep it on a paper towel or something. The other thing you can do is you can um, get a paper towel or a rag, something that's not doesn't have lint on it and clean out the old fluid in here the fluid on this doesn't look horrible I mean it's it is a little darker than traditional okay so we get that all cleaned out and you'll see how clear the fluid is the new fluid versus the old fluid by the time we get this coming out we're gonna want to see the fluid looking more like the clear fluid. 
We're going to remove our gloves before we go into the car because we don't want to get any of this brake fluid on the car. And we're going to pump the pedal about 30 times. <clears throat> All right, we're ready to sample this fluid again. See how dirty it comes out. And this round came back a little dirty. We're going to do it again. As you can see, it's still dirty. Okay, we're getting really close. I think we'll do it one more time, five times. Hopefully five times is the charm. All right, we're shooting for time number five here. And oh yeah, it's looking a lot better. Okay, if you compare the two, they're really close. They're close enough for me. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and refill it this one last time, and I think we're gonna be in good shape. So we're going to wipe off the cap one more time, any odd residue that's on here. Clean the cap top off. And that's a wrap. Hopefully we will not have the sticky clutch pedal any longer. Again, this is called the Ranger Method. Uh, some folks on the Corvette Forum have tried it. I've used it in past cars, and it's worked out quite well. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends all about the cool content we have, and come back often and see us at the Full Octane Garage. Now the other thing we've come across is sometimes this is quite dirty, the, uh, the actual plastic, uh, and this, this does come off. Whoop. Well, that wasn't good.